everyone, my name is Daniel Cole and this is my module 3 project for Flatiron School. I am in the software engineering course and during this module we cover JavaScript. This project was built using JavaScript for the front end, Ruby on Rails for the back end. Uh, we have password encryption through bcrypt and we have certain validations that were created using active record validations. Uh, let's get started. This is Geometry Wars Retro Squared. This is the retro for the retro. It's model, modeled after Geometry Wars. So we're going to try to log in with this user. Gandalf says you shall not pass. So we're going to go ahead and create a new user. There's also validations for uh, account creation. And once I hit register, we're going to go directly into the game. Uh, as you can see, there are three objects, three distinct objects, that is. Uh, we have enemies, projectiles, and the player object. These were all created by creating JavaScript classes in the front end. The convergence is done by using the X position of the player and the Y position and then using those to calculate where the enemy should go. And then we move with the WASD keys and we shoot with the mouse. The hardest part about this project was calculating the relative position between the mouse and the player. This was achieved by using a lot of trig. We assigned a quadrant to each projectile based on the player's position and where you're clicking. And then we use cosine and sine to calculate the future, or I guess the next X and Y positions for the projectiles. And they propagate in that fashion by using a set timer. So you can see the game's really hard. <laughs> Another cool thing is once you die, um, you get thrown into the scoreboard. The scoreboard is persisted in the database and also you can see the user's scores and also the top 10 scores or all the scores. The last score that is highlighted uh, is your latest score that would be highlighted in red. And you can see my global ranking for this attempt was eight. Whenever we return back to battle, um, there's three different types of collisions. So there's an enemy to project projectile collision. There is a projectile to enemy collision. And there's a player to enemy collision. Also there's wall detection for each one of the elements. Uh, the player does not disintegrate whenever it hits the boundaries. An enemy does not disintegrate whenever it hits the boundaries, but a projectile does uh, get spliced out of the projectile array. As you can see, you can see all the scores. This was my last attempt. You can see my specific scores, this is achieved by using active record associations. And if we log out and log in with a different account, we can see that these high scores were also persisted. You can see Daniel's scores, see all the scores still. And yeah, we can return to battle. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.